Hello YouTubers and welcome to Dalton Drone Zone. So you crashed your Mavic Pro and the camera lens is cracked or scratched. You might even be getting the gimbal gyroscope error and your camera just sort of hangs there limp. So you go online and you go looking for a replacement lens for a Mavic Pro. You discover that you're not available. DJI does not make a lens. I'm not even sure you can replace a lens on a Mavic Pro camera. Um, so you call DJI. They say, oh, well, you'll need to send the whole drone to us and we can replace the camera for you for a modest fee of around $300. Well, you don't have to do that. There are other options. You can replace the entire camera portion right here. These are available online. eBay is a good resource. There are many for sale on eBay. Many of them do come from China. They're not terribly expensive, around $11, $12, $15, maybe a little bit extra with shipping. Uh, they all seem to be genuine. They will take a while because it is being shipped from China. Uh, there are uh, the domestic suppliers, too, here in the U.S. Uh, that want more uh, if you want them a little faster, um, that may be the route to take. Uh, this one actually has a scratch on it. I don't know if you can see the scratch on the lens, so we're going to replace that today. I have a new, um, a lot of new, but a salvaged camera from another drone. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, I have a replacement camera module here. This does contain the uh, gyroscope inside of it, which is why uh, when I said you get a gyroscope error, this is what you replace. Gyroscope error on the gimbal, which can happen, particularly if you crash your, your Mavic. So let's get started on removing the scratched one here. Now you really don't have to have this out of the Mavic. Uh, you could do this while it was still in the Mavic. Just you know, be careful. Uh, this one is out because I'm actually working on the, the Mavic shell itself. This is another Mavic I'm repairing. So let's get started. First we'll take these two back screws out here. For the cover plate. Teeny tiny screws. Set these aside, just don't lose these screws because you're not going to be able to get them. You do. This plate will come off. You see, just like that. I'll set that aside. And then we're going to remove this portion right here. This little cover thing here it covers the cable over if it goes, it goes into the camera module. Just be careful of the, uh, you'll be working mainly with the video cable, but uh, do be careful of the, the ribbon cable. Keep that in mind when you're maneuvering this thing around. You don't want to tear that ribbon cable. Now this thing slides back toward the back of the camera first, so in order to remove it, you need to slide it back like that, and then you can lift it up. And we'll set that aside along with its screws. Now these two screws here, have to come out on either side of the camera. These are a bit longer, so you want to retain these screws and don't get them mixed up. You can see they're a little bit longer. Now in order to get this off, you can take a, like a little plastic tool, spludging tool, just kind of go in through the opening here and give a little pry. This one came off pretty easily. Some do not. There. Let's see how that separates out. 
what we'll do is we'll just pop off the ribbon cable where it attaches here. You can go from one side then the next. Now pry up on it. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. You can see it's out. Now one thing I want to point out is if you do purchase a new one just make sure that you retain your cooling pad here. It should still be there. It should stay right there, but this is it right here. This offers some heat sink. Actually, this might actually be heat sink material. It actually is. Um, so just make sure you retain that um, because um, you will you, your new camera module can overheat if that's not there. I want to get a new camera here. First, we're going to connect up the cable. And this just pushes back in. Just line it up properly. And that's really about it. It just kind of snaps in. Here goes like that. I think it's bouncing all over the place because of the, the rubber shock absorbers on it here. There we go. I'll push that back in. Holes are lined up. And we'll just put the screws back in. This is a pretty simple job, actually. You do need some really tiny screwdrivers. Because you've got some really tiny screws. Put this cover plate back on here. Just like that. Don't need to over tighten these screws. And this the cable has to ride in this little channel right here, so make sure you, you get the cable in there. There it is. That's it. That's how quick it is. We're all ready to go. All right, I hope this helps you out. I know these things can be expensive. And when you send them off to DJI, particularly if you don't have the DJI Care or Refresh or whatever they call it, you will be paying through the nose. 
So many of these repairs you can do yourself, and you've seen some of my previous videos, so you know that. Well, once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, like I said, keep uh, like I've said before, keep in um, keep me in mind uh, for future videos. I do have future repair videos we plan from tearing apart sparks, totally rebuilding sparks to whatever might come down the road. And of course, I do shoot some interesting video when I can find interesting places to shoot. So once again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.